by acknowledging the land we're gathering on today's Aboriginal land. Kempsey's Aboriginal land, this whole state, this whole continent is Aboriginal land. Pay my respects to those elders, past, present and emerging. And pay my respects to the family too, to the Kellys, for not giving up, as no family would give up, on the demand for justice for their young boy who was killed and then had his body brutally dumped on railway tracks to the south of town. And I pay my respects too to Uncle Duck and the Haynes and Craigies. They haven't given up on justice for young Mark. There's another young man, a year older than Buddy. His body was dumped brutally on railway tracks. And I pay my respect, respects to the Smith family and their young boy. He was murdered and his body was dumped on railway tracks. And I pay my respects to all those families, Aboriginal families from around this state, whose young boys in particular, but not just young boys, young women in their families too, who have been murdered and are still to this day demanding justice. The Bowerville children. Just yesterday, I was down in Parliament, moving some legislation so as we could get justice for the three, three Aboriginal children killed in Bowerville. And yesterday we saw rallies out the front of Parliament and we saw rallies in Barrowville and we saw rallies in Tenerfield and we saw the community coming together, Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal, in a growing movement to demand Aboriginal justice. So what we're seeing on the streets here in Kempsey is part of a growing movement. And you're getting more and more friends and more and more allies inside and outside Parliament and in their community who understand that no family gets over the murder of their boy. No family gets over the murder of their girl. And no family's going to give up on the demand for justice. And the reason that I referred this matter back to the police minister and the police commissioner is because on my view of the evidence, there were dozens of unanswered questions about the investigation for Buddy. There was almost a dozen witnesses who weren't tracked down. And some of the statements that were taken were taken in groups. Shameful lack of basic police procedure in the investigation over Buddy's death. So is there any wonder that Monica and Arnie June and the family are still here today demanding the police do their job and properly investigate the death of Buddy? And if the police or the government or other MPs think that the family's just going to drop it? Well, I don't think they understand the reality. And as Monica said, this is the third generation who's had to come up, stand up and demand justice for Buddy. This is intergenerational trauma that I see in Aboriginal community after Aboriginal community around this state. And it's time we ended that inter intergenerational trauma. So I've asked for the police through the coroner and the Attorney General to not just reinvestigate, which is what they're doing, but to ensure the best police in the state are put on the investigation. Not just local police, but police genuinely independent of this local area command, the Homicide Squad, the best murder investigators in the country. Because you need quality police to look at the deaths of Aboriginal kids for one very important reason. And it's because black lives matter. Every bit as much as non-Aboriginal lives. And it's time the police here learned that. It's time the government learned that. It's time the rest of the MPs in the state parliament learned that. But I can tell you this. Around this state and around this country, there is a growing movement demanding Aboriginal justice. And some of the most inspiring leaders in that movement a young Aboriginal men and young Aboriginal women who are not going to let this rest. And let's join with them, join with families, join with advocates, join with your allies. Solidarity to the Haynes and the Craigies, solidarity to the Smiths, solidarity to all those families. We won't rest until we deliver justice, not just for Buddy, but for every young Aboriginal life stolen, stolen and not returned. Thanks very much.